dubbed anime. <laughs> I like it. Are you serious? Yes, I am. <laughs> Look, I know dubbed anime gets a bad rap, and honestly, a lot of it is deserved, but I do enjoy watching anime dubbed, usually. I also watch anime subbed as well, and they both have their ups and downs. In this video, I'm going to highlight the pros and cons of both versions. Yes, there are things I think dubbed anime do better than subbed anime, and there are absolutely things that subbed anime do better than dubbed, but I do think 90% of the time, whichever version you watch first will be the version you like more. Let's start with dubbed anime, since that is what this video is mainly about. Despite many people in the anime community complaining about them, and putting the throwing up emoji underneath any and all content related to dubs, most anime fans have watched the dub at some point or other. Whether it be Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh, you probably started watching anime dubbed. Personally, I was more of a backing gang guy myself, but if you didn't watch any of those, you might have come across a Ghibli movie at some point, and the likelihood is that you watched those dubbed. I mean, Disney did those dubs, and they did not hire any old dude off the street. Disney hired professional big-name actors like Christian Bale, Emily Blunt, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Tom Holland, Anton Yelchin, Sayoshi Ronan, Will Arnett, Amy Poehler, Mark Strong, Patrick Stewart, Liam Neeson, Matt Damon, Noah Cyrus, Kate Blanchett, etc, etc. My point is that these actors are objectively good actors, with some of them having accolades to back themselves up, and I don't think you could criticise their performances in these anime. You might be wondering why I'm talking about these dubs, and most of the time anime isn't voiced by actors of this high fame, but I think it's important to prove at the very least that dubs can be good, and not always terrible as some people will tell you online. I also wanted to highlight this, as Disney seems to be getting into the anime game, with them acquiring the rights to certain anime such as the highly regarded summertime rendering. It'll be interesting to see how they choose to dub these anime, whether they pass it off to dubbing studios like Bang Zoom, or decide to dub the anime themselves. I'm hoping for the latter, as I'd be very interested to see which actors Disney hires, and to see if that has any effect on the dub versus sub debate. However, like I said earlier, most anime are not voiced by these actors, and even if Disney do their own thing, that won't change. A lot of anime watchers will call out dubs for very similar reasons, and as someone who watches a lot of dubs, I think most of the complaints are justified. When you start watching anime, all the voices feel unique and befitting of their characters, but the more you watch, the more you recognise certain voices. While this does happen with subbed anime as well, it took me all of 5 seconds to work out Rudius had the same voice actor as Gintoki, it's definitely an issue more prevalent in dubbed anime, due to voice acting being a much bigger deal in Japan than any country in the West, as there's less talent to work on dubs and subs. All entertainment media has this issue, as actors need to have a career to survive in this world. They've got to put bread on the table somehow, but it definitely is at its worst in anime dubs, where not only do actors get lots of roles, they get lots of high profile roles. It can be very difficult to listen to a voice actor voice Y character when all you hear is X character whenever they speak. On the flip side though, it can lead to perfect casting when a voice actor voices a character very similar to one of their more notable performances. This is anime after all, and a lot of anime characters do fall into similar archetypes. Also, this smaller pool of talent can lead to very capable voice actors voicing characters in less well received anime, giving the anime a big boost and making it more enjoyable. One issue I sometimes have with subbed anime is that I can get bored of it because the story is lacklustre and there are no characters who are able to draw me in. Sometimes I watch an anime like this dubbed and because a very capable high profile dub actor is voicing one of the characters, the anime is better able to draw me in and I end up liking it a lot more as a result. It is true that there are times that I watch an anime in Japanese and I wished I watched it in English. However, there are also times where I watch an anime dubbed and wish I'd chosen to watch the sub. This can be as simple as a voice not suiting a character, or be due to the fact that the voice actors have to match the lip flaps. One thing that irks me about Japanese voice acting is that quite often the voices don't match the lip movement. This is due to the anime being animated first, and then the voices added on top. And while it isn't usually that big of a deal, there are times where it is very noticeable. <laughs> However, this dedication to matching the lip flaps in the dubbed version can harm an actor's performance as they may have to drag out a word that most people in real life wouldn't. This lip flap issue also highlights another problem, 
A lot of the time you can tell how good a dub is going to be based on how good the animation is. These lip flap troubles are usually the result of poor or weaker animation. You could get Oscar winning actors to dub over these anime and you'd still get a bad performance. If voicing an anime with bad animation is like an uphill climb, then that mountain is almost completely vertical. If you know an anime doesn't have the best animation, but is worth watching, then I would always recommend watching its sub. However, if an anime has great animation, then I would check out the dub. Literally every anime by Studio Bones has a good English dub. Formal Alchemist Brotherhood, Cowboy Bebop the Movie, Uren High School Host Club, Soul Eater, Dark and Black, My Hero Academia, Bungo Stray Dogs, etc, etc. This isn't just because the animation is better, but because the characters will actually have expressive faces and not just some blank 500 yard stare when the only thing that moves is the character's mouth. What are you doing here, Octagawa? I've come here to kill you. Additionally, dub voice actors really shine when they don't have to worry about the lip flaps. Any character that's face or mouth is covered will automatically have good voice acting. And any time a character screams, laughs or cries will be pulled off perfectly, oftentimes better than the Japanese original. Look, not every Japanese voice actor can pull off the Yagami life. <laughs> the final major issue that I have with dubs is the localization. A lot of the time anime is translated pretty faithfully with only a few minor adjustments. If you watch the dub version, the story and characters are going to be presented to you exactly the same way or at least very similarly. However, there are times where in the dub a character will say something and it will completely pull you out of the scene you were just watching. Oh, those pesky patriarchal societal demands were getting on my nerves, so I changed clothes. I highly doubt that was what the original version said. Now, there are a few exceptions where changing the dialogue leads to a subjectively better product. Let's fix these stakes simple enough. One to one to one till I'm a tower on my feet holding a five. What? But overall, most of these localization changes are just a localizer wanting to tell you what their political opinion is or adding a joke that only fits their brand of humor. They are clearly overstepping their bounds and this combined with their often hostile responses online are more than enough justification for you to watch the subbed version. It's either this or the script being a more diluted version of the original. I definitely enjoy both subbed and dubbed anime with my favourite anime being a mixture of the two. Whilst this video has spoken about some of the negatives of dubbed anime and I do think that subbed is more often than not the safer, more consistent choice, I think a lot of people are way too harsh on English dubs. I've seen people call out literally award winning performances by dub actors and it makes you question whether they can actually hear properly or not. There's nothing wrong with preferring one version over the other but to crap on one when let's be honest you only watch the clip or just one episode is a step too far in my opinion. Dubs are not perfect and there's plenty of room to criticise them and the people who work on them but to write them off outright when you don't even watch them is silly. Subbed anime have their issues too as I have pointed out in this video. And there are plenty of anime where the dub has been accepted. Pokemon, Cowboy Bebop, Bakano, Formal Alchemist, Yu-Gi-Oh, Guren Langan, Code Geass, Trigun, Housing, Catalia, Ghost Stories, Yu Hakusho. These are all anime where even sub-watchers prefer the dub version. And given time, a few more anime will join these ranks. Especially as anime becomes more mainstream and big corporations like Disney get more and more interested and want a bigger slice of the pie. Plus, how else am I supposed to eat a pot noodle and pay attention to the plot of the anime? Don't even get me started on when multiple characters are talking at the same time and I have to work out which subtitle is for which character. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Bye now.